Should you become an agricultural engineer in 2022? The purpose of this video is to help you figure out whether this particular occupation is for you. We're going to go over demand. We're going to go over money. It's actually a really interesting occupation. It's also one of the smallest occupations out there. There is not a lot of agricultural engineers in the United States. Agricultural engineers apply knowledge of engineering and biological science to agricultural problems. This often involves power and machinery, electrification, structures, soil and water conservation, and processing of agricultural products. Like many other different kinds of engineers, agricultural engineers prepare reports, sketches, working drawings, specifications, and proposals. Depending on the industry that they're working in, they could be working with farmers, they could be working with a company such as John Deere. With many different roles, agricultural engineers provide advice on water quality issues, pollution management, river control, and ground and surface water resources. Sometimes they might even be working with environmental engineers on many of these issues. Agricultural engineers can work in farming, they can work in aquaculture, they can work in forestry, and food processing. With farming, they could be coming up with a new irrigation system. With aquaculture, they could be focused on fish hatcheries and producing high quality salmon or cod or some other kinds of fish. With farming and aquaculture, often there is animal waste disposal and agricultural engineers have to come up with solutions for disposing of this waste. Like many other different kinds of engineering, you need at least a bachelor's degree to get one of these roles. In fact, according to the Occupational Information Network, 69% of agricultural engineers have a bachelor's degree, 12% have a bachelor's degree plus some kind of certificate, and 12% have a master's degree. So what kind of bachelor's degree do you need to get a lot of agricultural engineering kind of roles? Okay, I'm gonna use the Google search engine to search for agricultural engineer jobs in the United States. So. What I notice with a lot of these job postings is they're looking for some kind of, uh, they're all over the place, really. For example, this particular job posting, mechanical engineer, electrical engineering, or similar field. I've seen so many different requirements for different kinds of agricultural engineers. Sometimes they ask for a degree in some kind of agricultural science, sometimes civil engineering. Uh, this particular role with the US Natural Resource Conservation Service seems like they're probably going to ask or be open to someone with a civil engineering back background but there's a lot of different kinds of roles sometimes you're working as an advisor uh, but for the most part you need some kind of degree in agricultural science civil engineering mechanical engineering this one even requires a master's degree in civil or environmental engineering so you don't necessarily need uh, a degree in agricultural science. Sometimes you can get these particular roles majoring in civil engineering, mechanical engineering, but I have also seen agricultural science as well. So as you can see with a lot of the job postings, a lot of agricultural engineers come into their roles with a civil engineering degree, a mechanical engineering degree, or an agricultural science. I didn't show you any, but I did see plenty of other job opportunities which asks for some kind of degree in agricultural science. Next up, we're gonna go over pay. What kind of pay can an agricultural engineer expect in 2022? Well, unfortunately for agricultural engineers, um, they don't make quite as much as many of the other engineering fields. In 2021, the average base salary for an agricultural engineer was $87,350. This was before overtime and other benefits. This makes it the least lucrative engineering field. There's 16 different engineering fields and I added software developer there as well. And unfortunately for agricultural engineers, there are 16 out of 16 when looking at base salaries. And also their wage growth has kind of gone up and down over the years. In 2016, the average base salary for an agricultural engineer was $77,330. By 2021, this rose to $87,350. And what's weird is agricultural engineers saw a wage loss between 2020 and 2021. The average base salary in 2021 was $14,000 less than in 2020, a 14% loss. And the reason for this is because this is such a small occupation. We're actually gonna get into the demand a little bit later in the video. I think it's just because the sample size, they're probably sampling not a lot of agricultural engineers because this is such a tiny field. There's actually more historians, there's more social scientists, there's more political scientists than there are agricultural engineers. There's really only like 1,200 of them in the country. But we're gonna to get to that in a second. One of the best places to live if you are an agricultural engineer is the state of Wisconsin. 
In the Badger State, the average base salary was $109,920. When you factor in benefits, total compensation is around $143,000 a year before any overtime. Another high paying state for agricultural engineers is the state of Georgia, the Peach State, where the average base salary is around $102,000 and total compensation would then come to around $133,000 per year. So one of the reasons why the average base salary is so wonky and going up and down is because of the small sample size. So next up, we're gonna get into the demand for agricultural engineers. And unfortunately for agricultural engineers, there isn't that much demand. This is a huge con related to this particular occupation. In 2021, the government recorded 1,120 employed agricultural engineers. This makes it the 16th biggest engineering workforce, 16 out of 16. There are vastly more aerospace, civil, industrial, mechanical, and electrical engineers. And when you compare agricultural engineers to software developers, it's ridiculous. I mean, there's about 3.4 million employed software developers in the United States. There's only 1,120 employed agricultural engineers. And to make matters worse, the number of employed agricultural engineers has been falling for years. In 2016, there was around 2,000 employed agricultural engineers. By 2021, there was 1,120, meaning there was a loss of 860 jobs between 2016 in 2021. So demand is definitely lacking for people in this particular occupation. We can also look at job posting data and it doesn't really show a better picture for the demand for agricultural engineers. I went on glassdoor.com. I found 78 job openings for agricultural engineers. I went on Indeed and I found 1,839 job postings for agricultural engineers. And on LinkedIn, there was 1,185 job postings. So the demand for agricultural engineers in the United States is pretty low, unfortunately. But if you're coming in with a civil engineering degree, a mechanical engineering degree, these are very versatile degrees that you could use to hop back into civil engineering or mechanical engineering in some other area or industry. But there is actually one big advantage to becoming an agricultural engineer, and that is the fact that a lot of the higher paying jobs are in very rural areas. And these particular areas have pretty low cost of living. Okay, I'm on a Bureau of Labor Statistics agricultural engineering page, and they have actually all these maps for different occupations. And this is actually showing where all the jobs are for agricultural engineers. And one of the advantages is the fact that many of the jobs are not in high cost of living places. There's not too many of these guys in California, not too many in the Northeast Corridor. There's a lot of uh, agricultural engineers in the state of Nebraska. There's a lot in Ohio. And a lot of these places are very low cost of living. So this is kind of a big advantage to becoming an agricultural engineer. You could be working in a pretty low cost state. So I hope this video helped you figure out whether agricultural engineering is for you. Are you an agricultural engineer? Let us know down in the comments below. What do you enjoy and what do you dislike about this particular occupation? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.